Hello everybody, welcome to another part of the Remaking Door series. Today what we're going to be implementing into our games is how to add the library into our generation script. So, I know this doesn't look like the library indoors, and it's just an example. Um, it'll be linked in the description if you want it, but um, you can make your libraries however uh, you want, and make them as detailed as you want. I just put together something fast, uh, but... Basically, the main part of this is to uh, just show you how to implement it to your generation script. So, it's the same thing as like a normal hallway. We need that uh, we need that entrance part, which is right here, and it's sticking out. And we need that exit part, which is right here, and it's in. All the lights are in a folder. Um, all the bookshelves are in their own models, and they're in the model. They're in the actual room model. And um, everything else is just a part, and they're all inside of the model. So make sure, and we have the re, um, we have the respawn point in the uh, library model as well. So just make sure uh, everything is in the model. Make sure nothing's out of it or anything like that. And once we have that, we're gonna go ahead and put it inside of replicated storage. We're gonna go inside of our generation script. We're gonna change the number of rooms that we want to generate to a hundred, not a thousand, to a hundred. Um, and now let's actually start generating. So, uh, we generate, we generated the, uh, Jeff's shop on the half room. So for I room, if we're going to, what we're going to do instead is we're going to say if I equal equals 52, then we will generate Jeff's shop, uh, because in the normal game, I think Jeff Shop generates on room 52, but the library generates on room 50, so let's go ahead and do that. So um, we'll say if I equals 52, we'll generate that, but we need a new function. We're gonna make a new function up here. Where is the generate Jeff's shop? It's right here, okay. We're gonna get, actually, no, no, we're not gonna get that. I'm gonna say function generate library and we will say room num we can copy all of this stuff uh, yeah we can copy all this stuff just like that and we can put it in here instead of uh, it being Jeff shop though we're gonna change it to library and uh, that should make that should have it work already <clears throat> It should make it work, I think. So, on room 50. Okay, we got a little bit to go. This is 52. Where is the, um... Oh, I know, because we didn't, we didn't, uh... We didn't call it yet, so, uh... What we need to do, so once we have that generate library function... We go in here, we're gonna say for i equals one number of rooms do. We're gonna say if i equals 52 then, blah, blah, blah. And then we'll say, we'll get rid of the else. Actually, no, no, keep the else. We'll say else if i equal, equals, um, uh, 50 then generate library. And then we'll send over the i, and then we'll just say else. not then we'll change that else to else if <clears throat> and as you can see we generate the library so 45 46 9 Jeff shop got generated inside of the library. Um, oh, it's because we didn't set the previous room. All right. Uh, make sure you say prev room equals, get this little code right here in the Jeff shop function. We're gonna say prev room equals clone room. Um, and we're just gonna paste it 
down here and we will go ahead and run that now to see if it works which it should all right so we have uh, the library right here <clears throat> room 49 and then room 50 is the library this will be um when the what is that thing called the figure is here we're not coding that in this part but we are going to code it in another part uh, i just wanted to get the library generation part done so on room 50 this gets generated and we have like all the books and stuff then we go one and then we're in jeff shop this is room 52 so it's one after the library we have jeff's shop and then we continue onward all the way to the end um so that's basically how you generate rooms in your code all you need to do is you need to say um for i so in this little it's in the door skit as well for i equals one number comma number rooms do if I blah 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 um, whenever you want to change like because I originally had it where it was just like half the number it generated the like at so if it was 60 generated rooms at room 30 it would uh, generate Jeff shop but I changed that so uh, all I said was if I which is the room number if that room number equals 52 then we're gonna generate Jeff shop but if that room number equals 50 then we're gonna generate their library and if it just doesn't equal either of them then we'll just generate a normal room out of our folder so that is how you add the library in your doors kits doors game whatever you want to call it um, if you want me to expand on this I'm definitely going to be adding figure though so that's definitely coming um, but that's just basically how you generate rooms and uh, yeah if you have any questions comments or concerns please leave them in the comments below uh, if you have any suggestions for a future tutorial please leave those in the comments below as well um, if you enjoyed today's video please like you know and subscribe it really helps with the channel we are close but I mean we're past 200 subscribers uh, close to 250 we're trying to 300 so that subscribe button is really helpful it really uh you know it's awesome seeing growth on the channel you know so it's it's just great when you guys subscribe or like the video or comment what you know your feedback on a video it really motivates me to continue making these tutorials for you guys and um it's just great to see like us growing as a community and just me being able to help as many people as i can make their uh, games so that is it for today's video and as always i will see you guys in the next one